Hey guys, welcome to chapter 4, section 1 I believe. Um, up to this point we've created our app, we've deployed it on Heroku, um, and we've created a post controller and we have a couple views within our post controller. Um, we don't have any dynamic content yet and the reason for that is obviously because we don't have a database. So um, any kind of dynamic application is going to use some kind of database or some kind of content source uh, for the models to grab from. So in this section I just want to kind of display um, what my plan is for the database of our application. Um, and this, this could change. Uh, this is just what I, I see up until now. Um, you know, this will work right now. There may be some changes along the way. Maybe add or remove a couple database fields or um, maybe even a table or two. Uh, but this is basically just a rough draft. And I'm not using any high tech data modeling software. I'm just using Excel um, just so to make it simple. It's a very simple structure. Um, that I'll go over briefly and uh, yeah it's I mean it's really simple it's not too hard to understand um, so up here I have for right now we're gonna have three tables we're gonna have a table for the categories the posts and users now I'll explain this legend uh, the red here these red fields these table fields these are all auto whoops this should be red as well these are all um, these are all automatically generated by Rails. Uh, so every every table you create um, or every resource, whatever you want to call it, all have an int an ID, and the ID is an integer, and uh, f usually it's auto increment, which means with every f everything you add, every field you add, or every value, I should say. Um, this will change, this will go up, so the first one you enter will be 1, for instance the first post that we create will be 1, uh, the next one will be 2, then 3, and, it will, and so on, so it's auto incremented, and it's also the primary key which is used to, to identify the, uh, a value, um, and every ID is unique so there's no confusion about which value you're trying to get or read. Um, and we also have these timestamps, create date and update date. These are created with Rails as well. Um, so when we create a new post, it's going to have the timestamp or the date of that exact moment where we created it. And then if we go back in to a, an existing post and we change it and then we save it, this update date will change. And it should, I'm pretty sure it's a timestamp, not a date field. And a timestamp is just a, a, a string of numbers um, and what it represents is the amount of seconds that have gone by since uh, I think it's January 1st 1970 and that's how uh, a lot of computer systems all stay up to date they have a Unix timestamp so um, very accurate in terms of the date and the time and, and whatever um, so that's that and so our categories all we have aside from these auto created um, f fields are, is the name so this is just going to be the name the title of the category alright so now we have the post table and this is where we're going to get into some relational database stuff um, as with all the others we have the ID uh, we have the title which is just going to be the post title uh, the post body and you'll see I should have mentioned this earlier this colon here um, it separates the what we want to name the, f the field uh, and what type of field it is uh, we have string if you're familiar with um, any kind of SQL um, varkar this is the same thing basically it's just a it's a it's text it's a string and it's not it's not a um, like a, a, a long text field um, so title will have string because it's not going to be that long body however will have a text field because a page body could be unlimited um, length so we would use text for that now this this category ID is going to be a foreign key and this is going to match up 
with the category ID. So this and this, that's why we have this star here, it links them together. So uh, when we create a new post, we'll select a category out of the categories table. And that will, the ID will, will be able to tell us which category the post is in. Now we have this author ID, which is the same idea, except we're getting it from the users table ID. Okay, so this will, will reference this. And then we have the date, the cut, create, and update dates. All right, so the users table, I have it in blue because um, we're going to be using a a gem or a, a module or what component, whatever you want to call it, called Active Admin. And what it's going to do is it's going to give us an admin interface to be able to log in and check and, and update and add new posts. Um, and that will create some of these on, on its own so we're not going to have to manually create the users I mean, we might I'm not exactly sure uh, the approach we're going to take with this but um, we will be using active admin uh, just so we have a nice a nice admin area um, without having to do it manually because to do something like that manually would take um, it would, it's beyond the scope of this of this um, series so that's why I have it in blue okay so that's pretty much for right now that's the, the schema of our database um, and down here I just have controllers uh, you know we already created some of these post controllers uh, the index the show edit and we're also gonna have the same kind of um, views or controllers for categories as well so um, that's a, a basic outline of of the database and in the next section we'll actually put this stuff into play um, we're going to create some models and we're also going to uh, do create these tables and and all that good stuff so i will see you in the next video